Hi there, Chris here with another painting video for you all. As you can see here, we are going to take a look at nail polish, actually color shift nail polish, or for lack of a better term, uh, iridescent nail polish. And as you can see here, I've taken uh, three little plastic spoons and I've uh, given them a primer of a Vallejo black primer using my airbrush at around uh, 20 PSI using a Badger Patriot 105. And again, these um, spoons here are going to serve as our example because again, they're nice and smooth. They got a nice curved surface, which you know kind of gives you an idea what the flat ends as well as curvatures and things like that uh, for whatever modeling project you might be working on. Uh, but otherwise, you know, these are just kind of really a bit of a, a tester and just kind of give us a rough idea. And I kind of like the idea of using spoons as they're, you know, disposable in case we, you know, mess up or anything like that. I'm going to be using this uh, color shifting uh, nail polish here. As you can see here it, uh, in the main light, it glows kind of a red, but you can see off on the edges, it goes yellow to greens almost. And so I'm thinking that this would be really fantastic on a model. I'm going to use some lacquer thinner to uh, thin it out just a little bit. And of course, I'm gonna be using a Badger Patriot 105. I'm gonna be spraying this initially at a 20 PSI just to see how all this goes. I, of course, I've never done this through the airbrush, and so I was a little bit concerned. So we're just gonna concern ourselves with one of the uh, spoons immediately. Now, here's a point that I cannot stress enough is that you definitely should be using a respirator or breathing mask or any kind of protection for that matter, as well as a spray hood because Lacquer thinner essentially it smells like gasoline, this stuff. It's, and of course, lacquer and enamels, uh, which is essentially another name for lacquers, uh, they're just harmful chemicals. And so here I'm using a synthetic brush here just to kind of stir. I added about uh, um, uh, enough, we're basically about a one to one ratio. It's probably a little more uh, thinner than needed. Uh, but I figured running it through the airbrush, I wanted to make sure that this paint uh, flowed through the airbrush properly. And so again here, I begin spraying the spoon and I'm just trying to keep my motions pretty steady. And I'm only about a few inches away from probably about four or five inches away. And as you can see, it kind of spackles its way out and I probably should have moved in a little bit closer here. But one thing I noticed is that you can see how it speckles on here. And I, this is a problem I ran into as well using iridescent mediums uh, through the airbrush. And you can see how it almost kind of looks kind of chunky as it hits the model surface. Now it's adhering to the model surface and it's giving us even coverage. And you can kind of see the hint of that color shifting uh, on that model surface. But uh, that tiny little amount I added in was only enough to get that far on that spoon. So I take another little dollop, equal amount, uh, same mix ratio as well, and spraying it around the same distance. And again, you can see I'm um, you know, laying more and more on here, trying to work it fairly quickly. Uh, what I should have done initially, I think, was to turn the PSI down a bit and work just a little bit closer. I was just really worried about puddling at the, mo at the time. But you can kind of see how the spoon has this like kind of fuzzy like appearance and it looks like you know and i think that's the uh, the the um the mica flakes in that iridescent medium are uh, the the um the color shift you know the little it's the little like metallic pigments it's mica it's these little things that are just gives you that uh sparkle but again you can see how it's really really you know fuzzy looking and it's it's really kind of distracting and so i'm i have a few theories as to why that occurs and i think what it is is that the nail polish uh is a fast drying because uh as you'll see here in a moment i'm giving like i think a third coat really thinned out here i did uh, a thin uh, i lowered the psi as i worked and again it, it just seemed to add more and more of this kind of fuzziness to the uh to the paint job and so um you can you know again i was kind of like wondering what the heck and basically i'll take another spoon here and i'm going to apply it right from the brush right from the bottle and i'm going to begin applying it and even as i work uh, really quickly across the surface here i can feel the tackiness build up really fast uh from the nail polish which means that it's drying really fast and really, I think what it is, is that I need to figure out a way to slow the drying process down. So I begin to feel like, um, you know, how rough that surface is. And it's really, really rough. And so really quickly, I grab like a paper towel and then I begin buffing out the surface. And then here's what the surface looks like after I just give it a quick little buffering. And it's not too bad. It doesn't look quite as fuzzy anymore. And you can see that on the spoon here now, I've laid out three, three coats. That is three coats uh, of the nail polish onto that surface to get that really luster. Uh, and again, you can kind of see it just is not the same, of course, right? And that was only two coats with the airbrush before. But after I use the Pledge Future Fuller Shine, look what happens. The color kind of comes back a bit. And I'm thinking that if I had laid down three coats, 
I think I would have got a result that actually was fairly pleasant. But again, it's it, you know it's a little bit of work to get this kind of thing to happen. And after uh, I think three or four coats of uh, Future Floor Shine on these uh, surfaces, you can kind of see how because of the fuzziness, it doesn't quite get smooth because again that surface is quite thick uh, because of the little. Um, you know, the little mica flakes sitting to the surface, it actually, you know, increases the, uh, the surface, uh, the surface amount. And so, but that is it. That is really kind of a part one. I'm gonna have to come back and give this one a try again. 